What's going on guys, Nogaleo back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. In the last episode, we did take out, if I'm not mistaken, we took out the Stone Titan. In this episode, we will be taking on this gym leader, right? Why is my map fucked? I'm trying to remember how this goes. Oh, it's actually, it'd be like this. We'll be taking on the bug type gym leader. So, let's go. Hold up, what? Sugar bug. That's a nickname for her? Anyways, we about to fly to her, and we about to go ahead and take her badge from her and uh, do what we do. We'll be right back. All right. So, I don't know as far as uh, showing off the challenge. I think I'm just going to skip that. I don't even remember what this one's challenge was, but I'm pretty sure it's relatively simple. But at this point, we are so many months in this game's release. I'm not even going to worry about showing it all. Uh, it's so wild that we ended up uh, randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. Yeah. What a weird coincidence. <laughs> Nimona is absolutely wild. Uh, I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go. Oh, wow. Weird. Might as well battle now that we're here. See? No, seriously. Look. To prove it. I won't even challenge you to a battle this time, uh, much as I'd like to. Did I not read her first thing correctly? But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. And these, uh, and these, uh, add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Three ethers, appreciate it. Um, once again, okay, hold up. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the sheet, bro. Nimona is absolutely crazy for Pokemon training, fighting. Let's go. She is crazy for it. Welcome to Cortando Gym. Let me register you as, uh, as a challenger. I was saying that if this is your first episode coming across, we're going for a humanoid Pokemon team. Uh, I like to go for a theme for the second playthrough that I do. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Katie, I think that's her name. Or, yeah, I'm going to say Katie. Yo, first, because I've never seen anybody with Caddy. Come on now. Come on, Jeremy. Uh, me and Chipsy taking on the Olive. I think this one is relatively simple, but just to keep it even more simple, I will be skipping it for the episode. Olive production is a big part of uh, Cortando. Uh, we've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. I think that's what he said. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help you ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staffer over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register you to the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. I guarantee he's going to look just like you, bro. Your twin is going to be out here. Anyways, I'm about to take on the Olive Roll. And then y'all about to see me uh, body the bug team, most likely with the team that I have set. So, uh, once again, we'll be right back. All right, so we back. And I'll give it to you. It wasn't a twin. It was actually a different assistant out there. Welcome back, Kubrick. I heard you were on a roll out there. A big congratulations from, uh, from me for successfully clearing the gym test. Now you've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready? To yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. The sh Katie, the sugar bug. All right, now you gotta bring me to the uh, to the battlefield, aka her about to be her new resting ground. So unless she completely bodies me, which I I don't see happening, you know. So I, I feel like I have a pretty strong team as far as like defensive wise. I'm not too too sure. Because, um, eat up my cute little Vivian. Because, like, I don't have any, like, electric types and stuff like that. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for skillfully olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? My name is Katie. I am the owner here at... Pastry Soapberry. I think that's what she said. I think that's how you say it, at least. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader in the Cortando gym right now. 
I'm actually on my copy of Violet. I have to refight all the gym leaders, so that's uh quite something. Forgive me. <clears throat> my name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as pa as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Uh, both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked out on your feet. Okay, okay. You know, so she wanna she should wanna challenge the GOAT team, Kiriko. Show them what kind of team you got. Normally this early in the game, you wouldn't even have six Pokemon. Or at least I wouldn't. I don't know about y'all, but how I play Um I I just started recently. Hold up, don't take my bug type Pokemon blightly. There will be the uh, world of pain if you do. Well, you'll be in the world of pain if you do. So, okay. How I play Pokemon, I kind of, for, for, for like Violet, I'm going to call it like my main, the, my main copy that I play. Um, that, I kind of just like, if I like the way a Pokemon looks, I use them. But, and then my, I've just recently started doing this as well, where in my second copy of the game, I use a theme team. Like, I played uh, Shield a couple of years ago, and I used an all evolution team. That was the first time I had ever done something like that, and it was kind of cool. So, um, normally how I play, I normally don't, well, I, I've been recently catching every Pokemon that's new to me. But I didn't used to do that. So at this point in the game, like second, third gym badge, I really didn't have a full team. Uh, Teddy Ursa, he's gonna she's gonna switch to a bug type, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? I said I rolled things out from here. She gonna send out Teddy Ursa, Teddy Ursa, turn into a bug type, and then get demolished. So let's go ahead and watch this. Now I'm a little Pokemon. Time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. But yeah, um, normally at this point, I wouldn't even have a full team. So to me, this team is stacked. I think by the time I get to the end of the game, I will definitely have a decent enough team to beat the Elite Four. Um, it did get to a point, um, I just did it on over there on Violet, where I got all my Pokemon there. But hold up. Feast your eyes on the Shining Bug dec uh, decoration, though this one is sweet, I think she is. Um, I did just, I got every, well, every one of my Pokemon, I'm stuttering like hell right now. I got every one of my Pokemon, um, I changed the nature to like what their best nature would be. Um, and I gave them like the best nature, best item to hold. And so the Elite Four was relatively easy for me. So I'm thinking that this one's going to be a challenge just because this team ain't really... You know, but I do feel all of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies. Yep. Like gnats. Well, yeah, like flies. We'll give it that. Your strength and rose during, bat uh, during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations. You passed. As proof of, our, uh, of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Alright, cool. So we, we got this one knocked out relatively quick. I don't remember why my first gym video was so long, but with two gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 30 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the uh, frosting on this cake? Pounce, okay. I don't even know if we got to see that move or her use it, but it is what it is. Oh, okay. Once you find the TM during your travels, you could use the TM machine to make copies of that TM. You didn't know that, right? Uh, I'm not, I've never been like a big TM guy. Maybe I can get into that uh, once I start doing raids, but I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet as a love and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then until we meet again. 
did she know that there was going to be a round two? Round two confirmed? No, I'm just bullshitting, but no, nah, she actually, we actually do have to come back and fight her eventually. I will be streaming that on Violet, not sure when to be honest, sometime this week, sometime this week. I'm going to try to upload this on January 13th, 2023 as it is. Okay, pardon me, would you be Kiriko? I've been hearing so much about. This is uh, one of them, he's a dragon type leader. Wouldn't have thought that just looking at him. Nimona had mentioned that there was um, there was a promise, promising new face in the academy, yes? Yes, indeed. Uh, I think this is okay. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. Uh, so do tell me, young Kiriko, what compels you to collect uh, these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Um... I want to get stronger. I asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean, Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great po potential lies within you as well. So, it is confirmed we are younger than Nimona. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometimes. I would be thrilled to have you attain it. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to counter dragon types necessarily. Maybe I'll make uh, my Riolu a dragon killer. Who knows? Um, but that's all we're going to do in this episode. We got this down to 12 minutes, which is a relatively... Uh, good timing for that I want for these videos, but went ahead and knocked that out. If you guys enjoy, stay tuned for more, and as always, y'all have a good one.